garbage bags. I must. Check. Broom and dustpan. Check. Sanitizing wipes. Check. Knife. The bearded Check. thrift machine. Check. Check. So we got this unit right here, the cheapest unit we've actually ever bought ever. It was only a hundred dollars. Like that's it. So um, it's been sitting here, the guy said for like five or six years, hasn't been opened. Uh, so we don't know the circumstances behind it, but we're gonna go ahead and see what we got for one hundos. This was the cheapest unit out there. Take a look at this. The reason why I bought it? This was my, I think that is beautiful. That is pretty nice. Oh, they're peacocks. Peacocks. The reason I bought it, look at the dust on this. Like it has been here a long time, a long time. My biggest fear is not so much like getting something, but uh, like a spider bite me. So let me go get some gloves and we'll get into this thing. Definitely bugs. Who knows what else? Spiders. All right, we also called already reinforcements to dad to help us. So we'll go ahead and I actually want to see the tops of these real fast because they look super cool, don't they? Mm-hmm. I feel like that these are some decent tables. I was like, man, that'd be cool if you were to redo these, if they're nice looking. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. Oh yeah. That's a pretty nice little side table right yeah. there. It's heavy, got a spider on it. No real big scratches on it whatsoever nothing on the inside but that's pretty well made isn't it yeah oh it's a name brand oh and it's got the um dovetail yeah check out the name brand called. right here it's called ham mary ham mary huh is that I good to, i don't know i will have to look it up because we got a whole set now would you clean it i mean that's actually pretty nice yeah i don't know it all depends on what it says what, when what I it look sells it up. for yeah this one obviously is the other one because some things you don't want to restore yeah yeah all right, nothing in this one either, but here's another matching set. Nice. That's pretty nice. Does it have nice. the same name inside? Let's take a look. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I would, oh. That's actually fairly well built. So maybe 50 bucks, $25 a piece. Yeah. Um, how you doing? <laughs> what we got in here? What is this? Yeah, it's gonna be real dusty today. What are we looking at here? Oh, a shower head, like a crystal shower I head. I never would have thought that nah. cool was gonna be in there. I ain't got a clue. From Iodine? O Odine? We'll have to look that up. That's actually like brand spanking new. And again, everything here might be, I mean, we know at least it's seven years old. New with dust. New with dust. Lots of new with dust items. Let's go straight into the in that box. This box right yeah. here? Looks like it is a... Faucet? Faucet. Brand spanking and new it faucet. Is. Brand is it is. Brand new with dust. Brand new. Um, yeah, that's going to be brand new. Man, some of these faucets can be worth a ton of money. I don't know that brand at all. Uh, high Arc. Mm, but maybe 10 bucks there. So we're almost at our money. This was the best deal I've ever had on a storage unit, ever. Yeah. Hands down. This says fragile. There is some dust today. <laughs> what do we got going on here? That is not fragile. Take a look inside this. I would move the box, but it's super heavy. Oh, it's just a microwave. And a phone. And a phone. And a and toaster. A toaster. All right. It's not that fragile. More faucets? No, doorknobs. No, faucets and doorknobs. So like it's a kitchen. Actually, that's pretty nice. Oh, wow. From Moen. Huh. Moen for looks, Moen for life. They actually might be worth some decent money. Usually Moen has uh, part numbers on them. So we can go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll do that in a second. Uh, hey, brand new. Man, stuff like that, source. probably five bucks. Yeah. Easy to ship, easy to list. Got a phone here. You think there's anything inside the, uh... Put those nice. They actually feel really heavy. 
Anything inside of the microwave? Microwave? No. Just a microwave. Alright. Man, I'll tell you what. This is the dustiest unit we've ever had ever, right? I don't that what's the smell in here? Straight dust. Straight like, dust. Like just a straight No stink. Like smelly smelly smell. No smelly smell whatsoever. Can't get this open with gloves. Let's cut it open. There is a jewelry box back here. See it? Oh yeah. Well, you actually saw that. Yeah. In the um. Yeah, this is a good bag. I don't know why they did that, but. Oh wow! You're not gonna guess what this is. This could be worth big money. What is it? What is it? All depends on what they are. Records. Records. Yep. Like or a the collector. Or like a, just like the uh, oh, looks like they're gonna be country. There's Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers. These are oh, there's a ton of them. A ton of them. So what type of records were they? The Marshall Tucker Band. Marshall Tucker Band. Bobby. Uh, Willie. Country. I mean, uh, Christmas with Stars. Little drummer boy. All right, I'm not seeing anything. I was hoping they would be rock. But some, this, some of these we actually do very well with um, with selling records, even if they're not like super great. They yeah. still sell for us for like five to ten dollars a piece. So this right here, this doesn't feel like it's in there. Oh, it's in there. Sleeves are in here, and actually they're in really good condition. Other than that one. Oldies but goodies. Oldies but goodies. The cars. Oh, yeah. We just made our money back. 100% just on these. That is a steal of a deal for only $100. Now, we did buy another unit today, which will obviously be on another video. Steve Miller Band. These are so... And we use... We can ship these so easy. Mm -hmm. We have a great way to ship them. So, is that Willie? That's Willie, Willie Nelson again. So right there, I'm saying we are already New Neil Diamond. Diamond. So probably like, I mean, I didn't see any rock bands, which usually just go for a little bit more money. But even if they're $5 a piece plus shipping, we just made probably 50 bucks plus that. So everything else now is going to be profit. Let's put these in a place that they don't get messed up. All right, check this box out right here. Very it's dusty. Got a dirt dauber on it. Got a, got a old dirt dauber right there. <laughs> old dirt dauber. And any type of personal stuff we'll give back. This is not, this is just like journals, it looks like. Or books, looks like. Yeah, it looks like. Um, they had a business, maybe. Yeah, these are like ledgers, maybe, from the 90s. So already we're seeing some older stuff. We'll go through this to make sure there's no like hidden monies or anything like that. But these are all 1990 like um, calendars, calendar books. We'll go ahead and get back. You ready to unwrap this thing? I think it's gonna be a glass table. No, I was not. No. What's the front look like? That's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. Does it have a name? I think this is much cheaper. It doesn't have the dovetail on the sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this one is. I think it says made in China on the bottom. But we could definitely marketplace that if we could clean it up. All right, moving on. Probably see a lot of sweat today because it's a hot one out here. These are just a whole bunch of tarps. But there's something at the bottom of these tarps that are, uh, it's like hard as a rock. Who needs tarps? Everybody needs tarps. Here we go. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. What is that thing? What are you looking at? Oh. We can't see it. Hammer. Um, this is actually pretty good here. Uh, it's gonna be heavy. We're gonna have to move that table to get it out. It's a big compressor. Oh, yeah, they sell $100. Ooh. Is that a uh, yeah, that's 19. A, probably 1980. 20. I don't think it's 20s. <laughs> I mean, brand new, they're like $200. So this one, easy marketplace find for um, probably, man, 100 bucks. Like, we're doing super good already. Super, super good. This probably not worth a whole bunch. Now, I thought this was an apple. 
And I was like, oh yeah, the Apple's gonna be worth a decent amount of money. And look at this monitor. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. You know y'all played Oregon Trail on this. Can right? you make the sound it used to make when it came up? No. No. Do you know it? I did, but I, 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 it's like not coming to me right not now. Not coming to you? Yeah, that's probably not worth anything at this point in life. I mean, they're just not, I don't think they're that collectible. If it was like a Apple first computer ever, obviously that's worth money, but the Compaq 7360, probably not worth a whole bunch. Moving on, all right, you said you went to see this picture real quick? Yeah. It's of an Exxon station. And houses. And houses. Um, this says office. Super heavy, super, super heavy. There is so much dust. Like, I have is never- Is track tape? This is just a whole bunch. I mean, there are some um, CDs, CDs, but the rest of this is paperwork. We'll go through it to make sure there's nothing, but that's a whole bunch of files. Here's another one that says office. Got some. When do you think that this expired? Oh. They still sell uh, 2004. So 2004. 20 <laughs> years ago. That is a really nice portfolio. This is, we actually sold a whole bunch of these one time, those Leeds portfolios. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Decking oh products. What is in that thing? Look at this. That is wild looking. Just a whole bunch of paperwork in there. And seven. Is that a headlight? That is a, that's a good headlight. Mm -hmm. Bet she goes to a Ford. Is that one that looked just like that? It's like the dullest knife ever. Mm -hmm. Or the strongest. Box. Box ever. One tape. or the other. International residential code, that's probably expired. Yeah, they must have owned a business, and this is a whole bunch of... Yeah, these are just like day planners. Most of them are like not even written in either. Hmm. So, moving on. There's all types of like animals mm -hmm. dead. I don't know. What is it? Nothing. Oh. Set of three are missing. Dad has seen better days. Um. This is a village see. stuff. Village stuff. All right. Now we're getting into something. Whole bunch of little boxes here. Let's take a look. Village. What type of village is it? Oh. Ah, made in China. China village. The stuff. Max. We have to look that up. They're like resin, though. I thought hopefully they were going to be like wood. Yeah, I'm not seeing. I don't know that name, but there it is, right there. It's made exclusively for the Max. Hmm. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. Oh, there. There's no car in here. Cute. Yeah, I mean we know it's probably 20 years old, but I was hoping it would be, you know, maybe ornaments. 2011. Hmm. So that's like pretty old for some ornaments. There's a goose. There's a goose. My dad loves goose. Geese. Could be Karen and Larry. Just Larry. Just Larry. <laughs> Karen left you, bro. Sorry. All right, just some ornaments. Nothing to write home about. Salmon. Oh, he's cute. Hey, these are actually pretty nice. And we we love ornaments because right now what we're doing is we are stockpiling. We are stockpiling ornaments for whatnot for Christmas. And we'll be doing these huge lots of ornaments and everything like that. So I don't see any type of blown glass ones in here. Actually, that one looks like it's blown glass. It's supposed to be a melted snowman. It could be. <laughs> That's cute. He would melt in here today, that's for sure. I think it's about nine to five it's degrees. Hot. It's a hot one. Um, and I don't think there's anything else in this box. All right, we still got that jewelry box. First, let's just get look at these. I'm not seeing anything worth money here, are you? 
this. You are this right here. I way to wait it. You are infatuated with this thing back here. Yes. Is there a name on the bottom? Is it glass? It is so rusted up here. Is that rust? No, I don't no, think no. so. It doesn't have a name. It is definitely showing some cracking, unfortunately. We'll have to Google lens it, but it's definitely got mother of pearl. Oh, it definitely has a huge crack right there. Yeah. But we'll keep it. We'll take a look at it. We'll put it in the, uh, oh, it's heavy too. Mm-hmm. It's almost like a resin, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. We'll definitely put this in a place that we'll probably knock it over later. These other ones are probably not valuable. Yeah, I'm thinking those are no good. You think there's anything in here? <laughs> you said she's scared of <laughs> um, What we might do with this, this is a Maytag. This is actually pretty good. This is probably 10 years old or something. I guarantee you when Dad gets here, when I ask him, do you want this to part this out? He's going to part it out. He'll take the motor out of it. He'll take the belts off of it. Hmm. And um, we'll get going on that. Uh, what do you want to do next? Just start with this box? Yeah. Oh, what? got a lot of... Got a lot of what? Lot it's got some creatures on, on it now. The there are creatures in here. All the creepy crawlies that you want are living in this unit. Abercrombie and Finch. Finch. This just Finch. looks like a whole bunch of... Um, what? Giant, giant gift bags. Giant gift bags. Victoria's Secret. They have stored this for seven years, eight years, 20 years. There's a little box it's in there. There's a little box. Nothing. Hmm. Uh, maybe it's in the jewelry box. Uh, they have stored this for such a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this entire box is actually, it's, it's, it's actually empty. Hmm. Like it's completely, it's actually trash. Like 100%. Yeah. 100% just nothing there. We're also not seeing a lot of personal stuff, which makes me think this came out of an office. Like there's- Or like different houses. Maybe they worked on. And this was like stuff people gave them or something? This weighs a ton. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Um, you might be right. Maybe it came out of different houses because we're seeing zero personal items which is a good thing you know you probably should water that tree in the back <laughs> oh yeah she has seen better days but i'm surprised it's still alive oh my goodness we have hit the jackpot are you serious let me guess is it a bunch of nikes no i don't think you're gonna find a whole bunch of nikes in this one it is a bunch more records. And when I say it's a bunch of records, it is Elton John. A bunch of records. Is that the Beatles? Is that the white label? No. What am I looking at? Like flowers? Flowers? Oh Did man, I it? will be doing some research. Research. Oh, when Dad gets here, he'll be like, "Oh my goodness, look at these records." A lot of Elton John stuff. I mean, this is like some Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. He's an Elton John fan. The Rolling Stones. There we go. American Tour 1972. That's John Lennon's son, Julian Lennon. Really? Uh, yeah, John Lennon was in the Beatles. That's his son. Huh. There's Yoko Ono and John Len uh, Lennon. Yep. And Yoko Ono. There's another John Lennon. Oh, yeah. We just... Oh, that one's got... Damage. This is the White Album for the Beatles. No. Yeah. Look, there's another one. <gasps> These are like the good ones. We hit the jackpot Holy on cow. these. I mean, I don't know how much they're worth, but it's yeah. just neat. I, I guarantee they're worth more than what we paid for the unit. Is that one new? Dude, if we can find some, no, not new. If we can find some new ones, 
That would be pretty awesome and epic. A lot of these don't have names on them, which is odd. Bob Dylan, Greatest Hits. Russell Elton John. Does that say Woodstock? What we got from Woodstock? Woodstock. Three record set. Talking Heads. Elton John. I'm not going to lie, I didn't know that's what Elton John looked like, if that's a picture of him. Look at the artwork on that one. Oh, wow. This guy's a big Elton John fan. These are really neat. We're kind of going through them a little quicker now because there's so many. And they're not in horrible condition. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they're not, a lot of the times, they're, um, they're not supposed to be uh, stored like this. So hopefully they're not warped. We'll have to store them. Everybody says store them like this so they don't end up uh... warping. So we'll end up putting these in boxes and storing them up and down. Eric Clapton. Neil Young. Blind Faith, have no idea. One with a whole bunch of heads. Oh, the Rolling Stones. Nice. That's pretty good. Night Watch. Yeah, this was... One of these, I guarantee you, one of these are going to be worth 50 bucks. I would think so. Yeah, and then, again, we're so far in the profit right now. And we love selling records. Because they are easy to ship, easy to list. All right, we have that is stuck to that box. I'm telling you, this stuff has been in here for... It's like a time capsule right now. Going back in time. Um, that would be awesome if these were Department 56s, but I do not think that they are. They're all from that Limax from CVS. But some CVS stuff still actually goes for decent money. Because um, this is like old CVS stuff. Fortune Island. That's what we're on right now. Just kidding. Don't know what that even means. That's pretty nice. So there are a whole bunch of houses in here. We'll take a better look at them. Um, none of them are like Department 56s or anything like that. Uh, this one, this is like a resin, so that's probably not worth a whole bunch. But this is the stuff we can put in our booth for like five bucks, you know? Yeah. I mean, who doesn't want that at Christmas time? Yeah. We love Christmas stuff. And Christmas stuff sells really, really well for us. Mm -hmm. So we're a big fan. All right, moving on. There is no smell in here, but there is some crazy amount of dust. I'm talking, all right, let's put this down and we'll grab these, grab these up, because there's a whole bunch of little boxes. That one's super heavy. That one's pretty heavy. This one's pretty heavy. Let's go ahead and open them up. Christmas stuff. Just a ton of Christmas stuff. That's actually pretty nice. Why is it a horse and carriage? It's a horse and carriage. From the same company. So it must have they must have like got that stuff together. You can cut yourself, didn't you? It's okay. There's so many people doing burnouts right now on the highway. What is going on with that stuff? Oh good, okay. We got some um ornaments, some other ornaments. Check that out. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice. Do not overwind. I feel overwound every day of my life. <laughs> I should have that caution on me. Do not overwind. <laughs> Too late. Too late. All right, down in here, if you want to take a look, it is just a, um, a whole bunch of ornaments. These are mm -hmm. old ornaments right there. These are actually worth some money. Uh, not, not like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But the glass ornaments with that type of top on them actually sell pretty good for us. See that old style top? Mm -hmm. Here's some more right there. I mean, these still sell online probably for like $5 for six of them or whatever, so a dollar a piece, but they're hand blown right there. Four mini glass ornaments. Some more glass ornaments. Glass ornaments sell so well for us, rather than the plastic. What is that? Uh, that thing is made in China, distributed by somebody from Tennessee. It's like an a angel. Yeah, it's like an angel. Huh. It's pretty. That's pretty. 
it's got a whole bunch of other little boxes in it. So we'll do the same thing. We did actually look up though on eBay. That's not part of it. The the Max, the Mox. This brand right here. No, this is Carroll Town. Carroll Town Bus. Um, we did look up the other ones, and they actually sell very well. So that's a good thing because we have a whole bunch of those. Some of them were selling as high as like 20 bucks a piece. Still a lot more in there. So that's pretty good, probably like mm -hmm. five bucks. This one is probably what it says, but the, it's like something heavy. Ah, oh, it's a nice little lighthouse. Yeah, that'll sell in the booth. That will sell in the booth, especially if we put a new battery in it and it works, because then mm -hmm. you can sell it without the box or that stuff, because yeah. that stuff is all messed up. Let's see what's inside this thing. Snow. It's amazing that it didn't melt in seven years in the heat down here in South Carolina, you know? <laughs> That's some pretty amazing snow. What do we got in here? I'm guessing it's gonna be another box. I mean, another house. house with Definitely another house. This one is from the company Snow Flake Falls 2002. The Toy Castle. It's got like little toys in there. Yeah, this stuff right here is booth gold. Yeah. I mean like, or eBay. We'll have to see how much they sell for. That was the only thing in that box. Then this says village stuff. Man, if this is that little... That's a big old bear. That's cute. That's a big old nutcracker. We don't your head. Oh. <laughs> no? Negative? Oh yeah, look at all this. Okay. Little manger scene. Made in China. That's not very helpful. That one's made in China, but metal. Huh. Also, the wires are snipped, so they're not going to work. So this is just like some cheaper stuff, two for three bucks, probably 20 years ago with inflation. It's probably $22,000 now. Uh, all right, well, that, that's good right there. Yeah. So we'll keep that entire thing there. Yeah. And go through it. And uh, so probably lot that stuff up on eBay. That's the best way to sell Christmas items like that. Yeah, that's the brand that sells pretty good. There's one that's all sold for like $70. Clothing warehouse. Which is pretty insane. I got a string of houses over here. Oh wow. Check that out. School, church. A school, a church, and whatever that thing is. And that's the only other thing in that box. So that's not too bad. See, each one of these is probably 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Smell. I'm smelling actually paint. Paint? Does that mean I'm going to have like a stroke? Oh, from no, heat? I have not. No? Uh, moving on. This a whole bunch of lights. Like a lot. Oh. Yeah. She's got some dust on her. I was like eyeballing this like crazy. What is this? So this lifts up. That lifts up. Some sort of draw. Oh, okay. Why does it have so much stuff on okay, the other side of it? So this holds like a drawing notice. board. On the other side. Oh, this is the mechanism to move that up and down. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes, it is. That's actually pretty nice. That, nice. that might be worth something, like a drawing table from Alvin and hmm. the Chipmunks. <laughs> no. Okay. Frame. Does it say Picasso? No, Paradise. Oh. It looks like a Picasso. What is the? Uh, what is this right here? Is that one of those things that you look in? Eye magic. Yeah, it is from like back in the day. Yes. This made a and lot. And you can of, see. What do you see? The image in it. Know. You have to like cross your eyes yeah. and like they get always close. Yeah, always gives me a headache. Cross your eyes and get close, and then when you come out, supposedly it's supposed to. Hey, this one's Mark. Picture. Thomas McKnight, 1991. You know, we are now. Uh, this one has a lot of damage to it. Like interior damage, uh, yeah. like no good on that one. 
that even if that was worth a million dollars, that would be sad. This one also has a lot of interior damage. Mm. Um, maybe not actually. Oh no, that's just that's just the, on the outside. Yeah. So these two and the eye magic might be actually be pretty good. Yeah. A well, piece of glass just hanging out there, not paying attention. That would good. Let's go ahead and just move that like that. I'll knock that over later so I can slip my leg open. Um, do you want to go straight to the jewelry box right now? I feel like we've been. Okay. Everybody's been wanting to know. Yeah. If there's anything in this jewelry box, and when I mean and everybody, I mean me. <laughs> She's dusty. All right, bottom made in China. She is super super dusty. I hear something inside. Empty. Are they pogs? They're pogs. They are pogs. How incredible is that? Charlie Brown pogs. Poison eyes. Really? That not what I thought I'd find in this. Mm -hmm. There we go. What is that? Nah, I don't think that's sterling. No. It's pretty though. All right. Now we got some stuff in here. Got a ring. Oh, we got tons of rings down here. One, two, three. I don't think that they're gold just by how they, they look. Let's take a quick look. I can tell you that one ain't gold. No. Negative. That one might be silver. No. Mm -hmm. And those are yeah. definitely not gold. They don't make gold with broken. Or unless they tried to. Then we got a whole bunch of this stuff. Ah, I got something on my finger. What we got here? Uh, that looks pretty neat. We'll have to take a look at that. It's got a marking on it right here. Hard to say what that says. It's like wrapped in there pretty good. And then we got this. I'll let you untangle these. Cause look at them. They've been, it looks like they go around in a lot in here. And then we got this little cat. It's definitely not, I think it's heavy. And then this one says 19, 19, 1988 on it, pewter. Right there. So we'll take a look. If it is gold, we'll make sure we uh, update it. But that was in the jewelry box. What is that? All right, moving on. Uh, Something was squishy. Is that a goat? That is definitely. Is that Billy? Is that Billy the goat? He's so incredibly clean <laughs> for what I'm looking at. Right? These are almost like are ones that you would win at a fair. Yeah, they feel that way. Like the stuffing is really hard. Yeah. That is definitely a fair animal. Don't you agree? Bear. Rabbit. Rabbit. All right. What we got here? Ingesting tons of years of dust. This gigantic snowman. What does he have? What's the sign say? Let it snow. Merry Christmas. Let it snow. I knew it was one of those. I knew it was one of them. Oh, he's got a little bear and a little bucket. He's actually in nice condition. He's cute. What's the bot? What's the, uh, say limited edition? Yeah. What's he looking like? Millennium edition. So, the year 2000. He's cute. You think he's a keeper? Yeah, we could sell him in the booth. All right. Bedroom sheets and pillowcases. We'll take a better look at that outside, but that looks like bedroom sheets and pillowcases. Pillows. Looks like a whole bunch of pillows. Pillowcases. How many pillowcases do you got? How many pillowcases? We don't have this many pillowcases. No, the tree was dying. The tree was dying. That's a whole bunch of pillowcases. Pillowcases? Yep. Got a bag in the here. Leaves. What is this? Got a lot of leaves. Look how old this is. I mean, the bag is like just falling apart. Falling apart. This has been in here for. 
vintage Jimmy Buffett margarita shirt, Key West. What? From 1995. It's got a stain on it, but that is definitely something we're gonna try to wash. Oh yeah. And get the stain out. How's the? Man, that's gonna be hard not to keep. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Oh, check this out in here. All right. What is this? Some really old shoes that have been like not so good looking. But some of these can be worth some money. Think how old this stuff has been in here. This is inner grease pocket that hasn't been inner greased in a while. Some sort of hide. Hmm. And then there's another. Look at the how old the. Oh, really? Check that one out. Rawlings, and that would be where you would look. I guarantee you that one's worth some decent money. This one, yeah. for sure. So how you would look it up? Rawlings GT. That might actually might be their initials. Maybe I don't know. But then look that up. This one probably worth some. I don't know. Maybe twenty bucks. And then you just have some baseballs in here and softballs. Hmm. Well, that tree is this dead. This tree is not doing well. <laughs> I thought you said the tree was alive. We did get the tree out of here and did sweep up a little bit because, again, trying not to ingest. Luckily, I don't smell anything like the smell of vision. Very tame. You wouldn't know that from my face cringing. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a... Just a whole bunch of paperwork. I mean, like, telephone. Some, some of these cell phones can go for a decent a amount of money. That microphone, that's a really, really cheap one. Um, if that was like a turn clock, that'd be worth some money. The ones that have the, the little clocks that turn. This is a mouse. If it was the trackball mouse that had the big trackball on it, they go for a lot of money. This one's a dime a dozen at the thrift store. That's an antique, 19... 2005. What is that? Is that an on Sears and Roebuck? Oh, wow. What year is that? Oh, wow. The rest of this is a whole bunch of wires. And then we'll look up the remotes here, but I don't think that these RCAs are going to be worth a lot of money. This says fragile on it. I think it's a computer. Oh, it's a whole bunch. See, this definitely came from an office. I think that these are. That'd be for a security system, I'm almost sure. Hmm. Or a modem or something like that. There's a whole bunch of them in that box, so they're not worth probably anything to us. I'm trying to go in this one real quick. We got a lot of trash in this unit so far. That is one thing. It's got a lot of trash in it. This is a whole bunch. I honestly think that this definitely came from the now. Because this is like... A ton of Tupperware that would be like people's lunches were left in these, right? Like Johnny and Susie had chili on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Right? And they were left somewhere. I mean, that's all that's in here. Some of it's still used. So, hmm. probably can't salvage any of that stuff. This thing weighs a ton. Those are the um the books with the yeah little golden books. Little golden books? Yeah. All right, we well, got a whole bunch of them here. Look. Yeah, let's keep those. <gasps> little golden books by your favorite art or, or artist. Oh wow! You have a whole, that says Chick Fil A on the back. I know. I don't understand. I'll have to look maybe those up. Maybe newer. Yeah. Maybe new. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see if there's a date on them. Come on, is this like the only book in the world that doesn't have a date? No, these are the old ones. Copyrighted 1960. Hmm. They're just like impeccable condition. Dude, look at this. Some of this is an old book. It's got some. It's got an animal living on it. Get out of here, animal. <laughs> Check this book out. What is the year of this? Nineteen forty seven copyrighted. Yep. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool book for sure. And then we got another book. We might have to look some of these books up. <gasps> Little Red Hen. Is that one of your faves? Yeah. Yeah, these are some old children's books. They wouldn't help her. Really? Make the, I think it was like a piece of um, bread. Piece of bread. Well, I mean, that's actually not too bad. 
yeah. for, for children's books. So, mm -hmm. All right, as you can tell right here, there's nothing behind these. This is just a mattress and a box spring, and there ain't nothing there. This bag says bedroom pillows. How many pillows? This ain't a pillow. Oh my goodness, check this guy out. You know who this is. <gasps> the Energizer Bunny. What? In phenomenal. Oh, he's got some stains in the he back of him. He just keeps going and, and going, going and, and going. going. That's an old one. That's an old and a goodie, I think. I don't really know. Oh, this is some sort of like stool. Huh. Yeah, just a stool with two pillows. All right, moving on from the ultimate. What is this thing? Oh, that's one of those little stick things. Dude, he actually might be like worth something. a puppet. Some. Yeah, he's like a puppet. He puppet is... Guy. He's like a puppet guy. Like a puppet guy. Let's check him out. He's, he's going over here with the uh, the bunny. Uh, maybe not because oh. it's dirty over there. We'll put him right here. Yeah, if you want to save something, you're definitely not going to be... Is this the original <gasps> Titanic, Titanic poster? poster? Check it out. It has seen better Leo, days. Leo is a little crinkled. A little crinkled. There's another poster in here of Titanic. Oh, that's where they're on the end of the ship. On the end of the ship. <laughs> there was room on that door. There was room on that there door. Was, oh, this, this hat is actually worth money. 100%. That's the old dare hat. I think they're worth like 30 bucks. Yep. That is worth some, some moolah. You just never know what you're going to find, you know? We haven't found any bit. What does dare stand for? Um, drug awareness. I have no idea. Drug, alcohol, ruins your life. <laughs> Super Nintendo. The real monsters? That's the, um... Oh, that would, that's probably I actually used worth to money. I love that show. Yeah, that's Nickelodeon. just the manual, but I guarantee you that thing could be worth some decent money with just the manual. We'll go ahead and put that in the keeper pile. I know my keeper pile and trash pile look basically the same. There's a whole bunch of toys in here. Um, kind of hard for y'all to see. See if you can get down inside here. They look like like Burger King toys. Right? He's cute. Oh, yeah, that's an old troll. Here's some uh, older 1997. Yeah, these are all Burger King toys. Hmm. Hey, what is that? This guy? Burger King. 1997. Star that, Wars. What is that? That's got something on it. Oh. It's got something in it. It's got something in it and on it. Oh, it turns. I think I remember that. I definitely remember that. Oh, yeah. That's pretty interesting. All right, these are a whole bunch of Burger King toys from back in the 90s. Not a pillow? It's just a big bear. Oh. Like a gigantic bear. He is rough. Yeah. All right, next box. One of the last boxes in here. It says that there's printers in here, and I think that they're right. Man, that's a nice blanket. Check it out. Two printers. One, two. Hmm. Not, not worth. It's still got paper in it. That one's still got paper, and paper's probably worth more than the printer. And this one says humidifier, which feels like from 2010. This has been in this box for 20, no, for 14 years. 14 years they've stored a humidifier. That's what it is. Yep. So that's actually. There's another box right in the corner that we have. That sounds like the Christmas story, doesn't it? It did. There's a box right in the corner. Oh, wow. There's like dead creatures in here. Oh, geez. There's a whole bunch of mail. Mail. Yeah, like legitly just mail. That. It's not mail. That's not mail. The roaches have been in here doing work. A whole bunch of roach turds and a whole bunch of mail. Hmm. So, I would say that that actually wasn't bad for $100.
dumping is going to be a lot here. We got a lot to dump. This is a lot of lot of stuff. Maybe three truckloads, two or three truckloads. So it is what it is. But for a hundred dollars, I mean, I guarantee you we've made some decent money. I'm sure I've thrown up some sold comps, but had to go ahead and just try this one. I mean, this was pretty good. Mm -hmm. These are kind of a pain when you see them in here, but for the cheapest unit of the day, those records really did really well. So remember, we do have the website, thebeardthrippmachine.com that has all your pot charms, flower pot charms, and also your purse charms are on there. They sell out almost immediately. And then we just appreciate everybody watching and Absolutely. all the love and support. I do appreciate everybody watching. Remember, not subscribe, subscribe, comment below, like the video, and you know I will always get you on the next one. And just keep going and, and going, going and going.